Hello everyone, it's Dr. Shalini Gupta at the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center and today we're going to talk about sagging breasts and the ways we can help to fix that problem. Sagging breasts occur naturally over time due to hereditary reasons sometimes because of childbirth um, and breastfeeding. It could be because of weight gain and weight loss and um, also just the loss of hormones over the years cause that breast tissue to shrink and then also the collagen in the skin is also going away which leads to loss of elasticity. Traditionally, breast lifts were done uh, by plastic surgeons either with breast implants or by making uh, excisions around the areola and down the breast tissue to help remove some of the excess tissue and cause a perkiness. But of course, the, those procedures are often done under general anesthesia and can lead to significant scarring. Some patients really don't want to have the scarring associated with their procedures, especially if you're doing this really to regain your confidence. So if you are a good candidate for a non-surgical approach, we have actually have five different categories of procedures that we can offer here at the Dermatology Laser and Vein Center. The first category is procedures that help to uh, tighten the skin using non-invasive methods. So we can use procedures like all therapy, or we can use skin tight, which is the laser. And uh, these procedures help to restore the collagen in the skin. They help to give sort of an immediate tightening and shrinking effect to the deeper tissues. So there's no downtime. Patients can return to normal activities right away. And there's very minimal discomfort during the procedure, but none after. No bruising, no scarring at all. The second category of procedures is in the minimally invasive category, where I use a local anesthetic to numb the skin and then put a little probe directly under the skin that helps to tighten that fibrous connective tissue and also over time build new collagen fibers in the skin. These procedures don't really have a lot of swelling or bruising actually. Um, we use usually the body tight by in mode or we can use Thermi RF. Both procedures work really well. Body tight is the latest technology in this category um, and we're excited to have that here for our patients. Uh, the third category of procedures in general are injectable fillers where I can add volume back into the breast tissue. So we can use your own natural fat. We can take it from another part of your body and do a fat transfer into the breast tissue. We can also use PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma, and that is rich in growth factors. We can take that from your own blood and inject that directly into the breast tissue to add volume and to stimulate healthy breast regeneration of the tissues. And then we can also use fillers like Sculptra, which um, also help to regenerate new collagen in the skin, especially if someone doesn't want to do a fat transfer necessarily, we can build a nice amount of volume with PRP, Sculptra, or a combination. And uh, the fourth category of procedures are the thread lifts. So we can actually insert little threads under the skin through tiny little needle punctures and the threads have little barbs on them that will actually literally suspend that tissue back up and we can see some nice immediate results. We can use, also use smooth threads or coil threads which will add volume or help with skin texture improvements. Um, and then the final category of procedures we do is a breast reduction. So if somebody has too much volume that's just weighing the breast down and making them look less perky, we can remove some of that fat and oftentimes the skin will just shrink with it or we might do a little bit of a skin tightening procedure with body tight or a laser to help it really uh, tighten up even more, but removing some of that volume can really help the breast perk back up and also take the weight off the shoulders and the back. So these are just some options if you are a candidate for a non-surgical approach. Sometimes we do combination treatments and that's something that we're famous for here. So in our aesthetics labs part of the practice, we really like to create these combination approaches for individualized treatment. So every patient gets their own treatment plan so we can correct what the problems are. And we might even correct other issues that are present at the same time. A lot of our patients might have stretch marks or um, other skin irregularities that we can correct. So uh, we have a breast fit 
uh, procedure that is a specific combination of treatments for those patients who are just starting to notice the sagging. And then we have the breast duration procedures, which are for patients who have more significant drooping and sagging. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please look out for more of our videos. Do like, share, subscribe, and comment. We would love to hear from you, and we hope that everyone will look young and live young the moksha way.